Welcome to 8.1. We are looking at expressions with zero and negative exponents. Our two rules are a to the zero power is going to always equal one, and a to the negative n is going to equal one over a to the n. Here we have 3 to the negative 2. So we're using our negative rule. And that tells us that if we have a negative exponent, we can take the reciprocal of that and remove the exponent. In example B, we have negative 22.4 to the 0 power. Because that's in parentheses, everything in that parentheses is taken to the 0 power. That is going to give us 1. Now, notice in example two, we have a negative exponent in the denominator. So again, that's going to give us the reciprocal. So in this case, with the negative exponent there, that x to the negative three comes up in the numerator and becomes x to the positive three. As we evaluate expressions, um, it's really important for you to remember to use parentheses as you do this. So in this case, we've got 4x squared, y to the negative third. Now remember, because that y is um, directly in front of the negative 3, it is the only thing that's taken to the negative third power. So I want you to simplify that expression first. So you're left with 4x squared over y to the third. Now we're going to substitute or evaluate this expression for x is 3 and y is negative 2, which means we're going to plug in 3 and we're going to plug in negative 2. Um, so when we do that, we end up getting 4 times 3 squared over y, which is negative 2, to the third. And it's really important to use parentheses here because everything directly in front of that 3 is going to be taken to the third power. So in the denominator, what it means is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. It's going to give us a negative answer. Um, it's really important. If that were an even expression, it would create a positive value. So you want to watch that. As we compute and do the math, we end up getting um, 36 over... We get 36 over negative 8. We can divide both by 4 and we end up getting 9 over negative 2, which would reduce to negative uh, 4.5. You can leave it like that. Also think about the fact that um, where would you like to keep your negatives? I recommend keeping your negatives in the numerator. So if you were checking, I would probably have it written on my answer sheet, something like this. One thing you're going to need to get used to in this unit is that um, you're going to have a lot of expressions that mean the same thing. Um, it's all about habits and what you're used to and comfortable with. Go ahead and check your quick check answers. You can pause this video until you're done with them. Check your answers for all quick checks. Um, if you've got questions, make sure you complete those in the post video checks.